those magnificent men in their flying machines. They go up to the above, they go down to the above. Okay, hi. Right, well, I think I'll start this time with answering the comments that uh, were put on different videos or whatever. So, the comments I can remember that is. Right, first of all, the plans, yeah. I did state that a plan is a guide, okay? It's not exact. Most plans are there as a guide. That's the best, best route to follow, really. Uh, because most plans, if you do it exactly as a the plan, then probably will come out all right. But if you want to make a detailed version of the plane, I want the plans will just give you the basic setup. Okay, which is what it's there for, you know. You can obviously you can follow the plant as it is, and it will come out the way it shows, you know. But if you want to detail the plane uh, to your own specification, then you must like do, as I say, get a picture as like I've done there. Many a time I've done this. You get a picture, I mean, fantastic modern days with the internet and stuff, or whatever they want to call it. You'll get your pictures, so you use that as a guide. It just depends how, how well you want to go with it, how far. Okay, so that's that. So that's that one. Um, other comment says, yeah, I apologise if I call an elevator an aileron, but none of this is scripted. I just do it as I go along, you know, and sometimes uh, I do make mistakes. Depends how much I have to drink. <laughs> Jelly. Anyway, so on to the, uh, that's it. I can't think of any other comments that anyone's asked. So, right. So, as I said, I wasn't going to, the reason I've left videos long enough is because I'm just getting the wings done. I've done previous videos to show you how to make the wings. So we're right to this stage. Right. So. As I'll show you, this is where your wife or your girlfriend come in handy. You rob the kitchen, that's where you get some greaseproof paper, okay? Greaseproof paper and one of your missus' nail files, okay? Brilliant stuff for sanding, but I'll come to that later. So greaseproof paper's there. The idea is, is that you've got to copy the wing, because this plan, on this particular plan, uh, it only gives you half the wing, and it says to turn it over, wax the back of the plan, and it'll show up, which is unbelievable, but there you go. So what I've done, obviously, you can see here, I've traced it. You just get the tracing paper, as we used to call them at school, or oh, grease proof. Put it over the top of the original plan, pin it all down, okay, and draw it out, including the elevator. Elevator, I did it. Aileron, right? Good, all in exactly. Don't worry about the writing because it's not a point because you've already done it once, and you've also even made the first wing and use that as a guide. The wing you just made. Now I might add that you, on this particular model, you need to trace out both wings, the top and the bottom, because the rib, the ribbing is different on the bottom wing than it is to the top. Right. So you've got that. Hence why I've traced out two wings. I know it's a ball eight, but it's well worth it in the end. So once you've done, oh, I don't want to ruin that. Okay. So once you've traced it out, simplicity. With this one, with the top wing. Trace it, all of it, trace every bit of it, right to the end there. The reason being is when you get the trace paper, turn it over, you've got a guide then to keep the wing nice and straight. So you, might, you line it up with the original plan, that way you know that the rest of the wing, when you've put it down, is going to be straight to that one. And then what I've done is because I've got a blue surface, you can't really see very well, put white paper underneath so it shows up where you've drawn on there. So as you can see, it's all drawn out exactly like the real plan, okay? Then cover it over with your cling film, again from your wife's drawer, okay, <laughs> kitchen drawer. Put all the cling film over and then build the wing. So as you can see, one wing. Right, just to go for the wing, I've put these in temporarily for the struts, okay. They're only temporarily. Once I've decided where I'm going with this, right, and they've all lined up, I'll dremel these off. So they're locking nuts in there, so I'll dremel them off so they're level with the, you know, ribs. So there's no protrusion, okay? So, as you can see, I think it's quite a thing of beauty, this wing. So what we'll do is, is I'll come to the bits that I've had to do different from the other wings. They're in now, the little bits that are on the wings. The inspection bits, like I explained in the previous video, where they tighten them up for the ailerons, okay? So they're in, everything's in situ. So it's basically as it is in the first wing I showed you. Difference being is, in the middle wing here, obviously you've built on that, strengthened that, the front leading edge. And this bit here, as you can see, where my finger's running, on the video, on the uh, picture there, you can see there's a big hole in the wing, and that, and it's all wood stained. And that's actually on the real plane. Okay, so you, if you, I'm decided, obviously, I'll copy that. So, right, so if we pan back to the wing. My camera ladies are the bestest. Okay, so I've put in the pieces, strengthening, blah, 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 put them all in. Now, 
I've left the mint. I've left this little bit here because there's a set of this is a few pieces that actually came with the kit. Believe it or not, that sit inside, it's slightly rebated in, so that when you put your uh, film over the top, you see through acetate, which I'll come to in a minute. You do that after you've built all the wing and you're going to cover it. Once you've covered it all, then you slot these pieces in because they've got to be painted wood stain like just showing you on the wing, right? Acetate wise, okay. So, oh God, it's gone in. There it is. I'll get it. Right, so we go to any decent stationers, Ryman's, that I got these from in Chester. You get, like, this costs 14 quid for 50 sheets. It basically, it's the best stuff since sliced bread, mate, I tell you. Right, now it'll last you a lifetime. Then all it is is uh, sort of stuff to put in chocolate boxes, nice thin see-through acetate, so that when you glue it in, and I might add, use epoxy resin. Don't use white glue, obviously, uh, because it's sorry, and don't use, don't use the uh, cyano if you use that old mica bomb because, like I made the first time I did it, I made a mistake. It clouds it, it melts into the plastic and makes it all horrible and nasty. So, just put in epoxy resin, that will do the job, lovely, or even uh, that. That glue you put in a gun, it, it heats it up, that would be alright. But personally I'd use a pot of resin because it sticks lovely. And you won't see it once it's on anyway because you're going to cap it. Alright, that's that bit. Okay. Right, the next bit is this bit here. As you can see the ring, right. On the pl on the instructions it says you've got to make them, uh, as it did with the wing tips and everything else, bend the wood into five pieces of thin pieces of wood like this. As you can, ima oh, sorry. As you can imagine, this is the thin stuff they give you. And you've got to put five layers of that on glued all together and well, that's a lot of work so what i've done to make things to try and explain it is what i've done same old trick but right, once you've got that you get your blue carbon paper what i've done many a time and showed you you put that under the plan you simply draw with your wood what i've done here is obviously a piece of cut prior you draw it on top of the wood so you've got your nice uh, shape you know, as it shows on the plan. They're obviously the right thickness, which happens to have just happened to have the thickness that goes with the rib, it's the back ribs there. So when you have it, it'll come out like that. Mark the middle, because that's where is your guide. So as it says on there, see, this is just a rough cut I made. So I don't want to waste any more wood. So you've got that basic like that. Obviously, exactly to the plan. And then as I've done here, you set it in, set it into your plan, white glue it in, PVA it in, Okay, so that gives you time to play with it. Once you've got it nicely in, 10 minutes later, as it takes from the bottle, once you've got it in set, right, put your strengthening pieces in. Doesn't show you this on the plan, I might add, but it's just safe because if you pick the wing up by accident, crush it, you'll, you'll cry. So, put the stuff bit in. I might even put a piece here and here, but it depends how I feel. Once they're in, it will dry like they are now. I just have to shake. Now, thing is, this is where your wife bits come back in again. This will be like that, it'll just be nice and stuck up. Obviously get it in line with the bottom of the wing, because the bottom of the wing's flat, so it's going to protrude. The top bit's going to protrude, but it'll be in line with the back ribs, if that makes sense. The two middle ribs there, as you can see, I'm panning on the camera, you'll see that there's a big lump there. So, what you do then is you sand it. I tend to use my good old faithful piece of old wood in there, to sand it gently round, so you've got it sanded to the so it's, you've got the taper from that middle rib down to your back trading edge. You sand it roughly there, so you've got it nice, and obviously at the bottom it's flat, but you just want to get it nice. Then once you've got it to shape, a nice roughly shape, that's when you use your missus's nail file. You get these from any bloody shop I do, any old shop I do. But, and that's where you used to get start going it around it, right? So you get a nice shape. Right, and once you've got it to the shape you're happy with, like I have, I use a piece of old emery paper, right, or wet and dry paper, doesn't really matter. But just tear a little piece off, I mean a little piece, literally like that, so it wraps around your finger, and that way you could like, just send it to shape and get the nice curve that you get on the plane. Sorry, I've got a rotten cold, so that's why I'm sniffing. That was a good, nice way to do it. So you've got it sanded to shape. Done, that's basically that bit done. You know, it saves a lot of time. I hope I'm not rushing, but obviously as a video thing, it takes time to do it all. So you see, so you've got your basic one there, glued in, set, and I might add, put these pieces, strengthening pieces in before you sand anything, because this is quite delicate. See what I mean? It's just rubbish. But once you put them, the strengthening bits in, it'll be fine. Okay, so that's that. So the wing itself, self-explanatory, it's exactly the same as the previous wing I built. 
so there's no more to say about it okay you obviously like I said you put your plan down so everything's exactly right I can't think of anything else really there I've obviously shaped the wings like I showed you with the, using the, the old um, the first elevator I made elevator what the hell aileron so you, I showed you how to do that where you just mark it so everyone's exactly the same all round all four and I've made all them but there's no point I'll show you how to do that so that's them right so I did put a review out on yesterday saying that I've been to my local model shop being 70 mile away <laughs> but Steve Webb models fantastic as my camera lady's dying <coughs> good god don't die yet <coughs> Right, so, you're alive, yeah, so, here they are, this is the servers that I've been looking for, uh, I phoned up Steve Webb Models and they gave me exactly what I needed, perfect, a nice slim line, which will fit in this, the top wings, sorry, the bottom wing, uh, for the ailerons, okay, so, that's that, so that, that, you know, brilliant, I think they were about 25 quid for them, perfect. Absolutely, so they'll, I'll show you how they're all going in another video. So that's them. The other thing I might add is that just to tell people in case, like, because these this is what I use usually the um, the R670 FS is fast, right? Because I use Futaba and my, my my receiver transmitter even uh requires these. Now, these used to be like 70 quid a pop, but they've gone down to now 50 quid all but a penny from there, so that's a bargain. So I just want to mention that. And I don't need too much else to really mention, so, you know, everything else is in situ. So, like I said, oh, another thing as well, as you can see, because this is an old plant, it's starting to, like, the, the paper's knackered. It's 40 years old, nearly, this paper. So, as you can see, as you go along and it rips, put the sellotape on. And also, when you draw out anything, or clay stock I've done there, sellotape it. Because when the pen or pencil goes over it, it will go straight through the plant. And you want to say that. And I might add, when I finish this kit model, these plans are going to be free to anybody who wants them. If they want to have a go at it, okay? Because I'm only going to make this plane once. I shall only do it once. Okay. So anybody who's interested in having a go at making this after I finish with it, by all means, I'll, I'll send them to you free of charge. <laughs> okay. Right. So as for now, my next stage will be do the last bottom wing. And then the main, the bit I'll show, which is really important, is because like I explained before, I'm making the bottom wings as one wing, as up is in the pup and stuff like that. So I'll show you how I've gone down to make the middle section that doesn't exist on the plan or anything. Okay, right. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, I think that'll be it before my camera lady dies. I'm coughing her heart out, bless her. See you, see you, bye, ladies and gentlemen. Bye. <laughs> Those magnificent men, those magnificent men in the flying machine.